Pokemon Day is coming up soon, and you know what time that is? Time to talk about some leaks. Now, take these with a grain of salt because anyone can make these up, but I saw these on Twitter and I think it's fun to talk about. Just know your expectations, so the first one we got is spoilers. Pokemon Presents 2024. First of all, Nintendo Switch 2 will be announced before the Pokemon Presents Pokemon Day. Pokemon Presents will show you a new update for Pokemon Unite, new game modes, new free content for Detective Pikachu Returns, new Pokemon Concierge Season 2 is announced, news updates Pokemon Go and Masters, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow is coming to NSO, available after the presentation, HD 2D remake of Pokemon Gold and Silver is coming in 15th November, developed by ILCA for Switch and Switch 2. The Switch 2 version has ray tracing, better reflections, and light shadows. The final announcement is a new concept, similar to Pokemon Legends, but not the same. It's based in Unova, named Pokemon Hexagon, exclusively in Nintendo Switch 2. Sorry for my bad English, see you 27th February. So, the first one... Eh... Probably Copium. I don't think it's going to be true. This is probably made up. What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments. So the next one we got is this one. Pokemon Day 24. Pokemon Presents on February 27th. Starts off reminding viewers about the Mochi Mayhem event and to make sure to play it to obtain Pekarunt. They promote the Dragon-type Mighty for Alligator Raid event that's going on at the time. The Scarlet-Violet sections... End off with them thanking us for playing the DLC and showcasing it. This presents is interesting because for the first time since 2015, this year will not have a main series Pokemon game or DLC announced. Majority of the presents will be talking about spin-off series or games that already exist like Pokemon Go and their new raids going on there. Pokemon Masters will have a new event featuring Drayton making his debut. Pokemon Cafe Remix gets its own little update. The main other spin-off title will be Pokemon Unite getting Coridon and Maridon as actual usable Pokemon. As for the new games and spin-offs, new Mystery Dungeon entry in the series, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Hall of Fame. Entei, Raikou, and Suicune will play main roles in the series, while their Paradox versions will be major antagonists at the very end. This game will be a little bit more different than previous Mystery Dungeon games since you and your partner play very different roles in the story and aren't always paired up together. There are some parts of the game where the gameplay changes up and instead becomes a real-time battle system. A Pokemon roguelike game will be mentioned to be in development, um, yet they show off a snippet of gameplay and is titled Pokemon Reach for the Stars. It looks like a much more animated and cartoony style than most Pokemon games. Finally, the Direct ends with them mentioning how Pokemon TV is going to sunset in March, and they promote a new Pokemon streaming service-like system that will have a lot more Pokemon media to watch while subscribing to with a monthly fee. Oh, great. They will start with a free trial at first, and it'll be called Pokemon Now. Honestly... This one might... I could see this one being true because it's so boring, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe the Pokemon TV stuff because, hey, more money, streaming service, they do love money. So I don't know about the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Hall of Fame, though. That seems a little wacky. That could be cool, though, because maybe they want to change up the gameplay of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but I feel like they might not do it. Like Entei, Raikou, Suicune. Eh, we'll see. What do you guys think? Alright, so the next one we got is, it starts off with the reveal of Pokemon Let's Go Raikou and Pokemon Let's Go Entei. Yeah, there, okay, there's no way this one's real. In the games, you actually get a Johto starter at the beginning, but when you get to the Burn Tower in a critique, I hope I said that right, probably not, you get to catch the beast for your respective version and use it as a ride Pokemon. The graphics are basically the same as Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, but I would say even better. However, before, uh, beware, because... The games are developed by ILCA. <laughs> Boy. They then thank everyone for playing Scarlet and Violet and remind everyone to play Mochi Mayhem. They also announce a Dragon Terra Superior Raid event. They reveal Kieran and Carmen coming to Pokemon Masters EX. 
They show Terrapagos coming to Cafe Remix. They reveal Poipol, Naganadel, Stack Attack, and Placephalon coming to Pokemon Go and also tease Necrozma. I think I saw that in a leak on Twitter somewhere. That uh, those Pokemon are coming to Pokemon Go. And I think Coridon and Maridon, like, they're getting added to the decks. They reveal Ogre Pond coming to Pokemon Unites. That's cool. Even though I never played Pokemon Unite. But I just like Ogre Pond. They then reveal new Pokemon Stadium developed by Bandai Namco. Yo, that would be insane. <laughs> okay. You can bring your Pokemon from home into the game. The game will only launch with compatibility with Pokemon from Gen 1, 2, 3, 8, and 9. But they promise free updates will add each generation at the time. Okay, there's no way that's real, but that would be cool. That would be cool. Keep your expectations low, though. At the end of the presentation, Pokemon Legends Kyurem is teased for 2025. You will get glimpses of the open world, and it looks notably better than Legends Arceus. The starters are shown to be Grookey, Chimchar, Froakie, a new Dragon-type evolution is shown but not given a name, and the original Dragon is teased but not fully shown. Okay, that's wishful thinking. I doubt that, but that would be cool. Before anyone says anything, no, there's no mention of anything. Switch 2 related, but Pokemon Legends Kyurem doesn't have the Nintendo Switch logo shown in the corner with a title, so that will probably get people talking. Yeah, this one's probably not true. Like, let's go Raikou and Entei? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not. I doubt that. This looks made up. But that would be cool. I like his ideas. Alright, so the last one we got today is this one. With the little Selby plush. Shiny Coridon and Shiny Maridon distribution events for Scarlet and Violet is announced. ho and Lugia raids available after the presentation. Update for Pokemon Cafe Remix introducing two limited time events featuring Ogre Pond and Terrapagos available after the presentation. Brief section about Pokemon Horizons announces a new Pokemon film in production. Key art of the movie is shown featuring Captain Pikachu and Terrapagos surrounded by Terra Crystals. More information coming later this year. Pokemon Go update adds a Captain Pikachu event available after the Pokemon Presents CGI video shows Paldanian Pokemon running through a Spanish-looking city as a trainers gather around a raid. It teases Coridon and Maridon raids. All this is interesting. Maybe. Huh? Pokemon movie? I could see that with, Thera with uh, Terabagos. Pokemon Masters EX receives a Pokemon Day event Arvin and Mabelstiff. Plus Juliana and Sprigatito. Sync pairs are announced releasing in March. More information coming soon to the game's social media. Pokemon Unite showcases Maridon available February 27th. New season also releases during Pokemon Go. Uh, Pokemon Day. Features a future themed battle pass. New mobile game based on Pokemon Concierge called Pokemon Pocket Resort. Gameplay consists of battling, playing, and dressing up Pokemon shows different clips of the player polishing an Empoleon's flipper and playing with a Psyduck. Releases in spring 2024. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Pokemon blue, red, and yellow, and gold, silver, crystal available to purchase on the eShop. I could see that. Pokemon Legends Celebi is announced. Starts with a CGI clip showing the silhouettes of the protagonist facing, to, facing a forest shrine. Video cuts to gameplay, shows a few areas in Japanese village with two towers, cuts back to CGI, shows the back of a character with long hair and a white coat facing the same shrine. Crystals start growing from the ground and slowly cover the shrine. The crystals light up, revealing Celebi. Celebi flies toward the camera, revealing Pokemon Legends Celebi as the game title releases in November 2024. Yo, that sounds sick. I'm down for another Legends. I like Legends. Um, I know, and it's kind of split. I've seen people say they don't like Legends Arceus. I've seen people say they love it. I like the gameplay, and I loved playing Legends Arceus. So I'd be happy with that. Even though, I don't know, I feel like that might be more reasonable than the other Legends Kyurem, but we haven't had the complete dragon yet for Pokemon. So maybe it could be Pokemon Legends Kyurem, but I could see Pokemon Legends Celebi and then Kyurem like, becoming the antagonist at the end and like being the complete dragon maybe we'll see but let me know what you guys think these are take these with a grain of salt remember but still fun to talk about and uh i'm excited to see what you guys say in the comments mm -hmm.